Hola familia, welcome for another video. This is your trainer, Avery Hernandez. Today we're gonna use a foam roller. This routine, you can do it to warm up before you work out or after you work out. So this is for beginners. So go ahead and we're gonna start. First, we're gonna do our calves. Make sure that you do it nice and slow. So we're gonna use one foot on the floor for better support. Make sure that your arms are well supported on the floor and really slow, you're gonna go front and back. Don't forget to breathe during the entire process. All right, that was good. Now we're gonna switch to the other leg. Remember always nice and slow going front and back. If you wanna go deeper, you can actually cross the leg over. But remember, this is for beginners, so you can put your foot on the floor. All right, now we're gonna go into the hamstrings. So pretty much we're gonna use the same position as the calves, but this time make sure that you go all the way, almost to the glutes or to the butt and almost to under your knee. All right, time to switch to the other leg. And again, make sure that you go all the way, nice and smooth. Remember we're doing 30 seconds for each side of your body. If you have a bigger foam roller, you can totally use it. Ready now, we're gonna go to the glutes. I'm gonna do one at a time. So we're gonna start on one side. Make sure that you rotate your body a little bit. So go deep into the glute. This is another angle. Make sure that your hands are on the floor, well supported. You can use your fingers on one side so it helps you to rotate. And now we're gonna switch to the other side, to the other glute. Same as we did before, we're gonna rotate our body a little bit. As you notice, I'm using my fingers on one side just to push my body to the side a little bit. This movement is now too long, too big and try to dig deep into the glute. All right, now we're gonna go to the abductors. This position can be a little awkward, a little difficult. Just make sure that your leg is across and on the front. Your elbow pretty much is under your shoulder and this is another view so you know exactly what I'm doing with my leg. So nice and slow, all the way from your hip to almost to the knee. Time to switch to the other side. So same as before, your elbow under your shoulder 
Start rocking your body front and back. Your leg across on the front. Make sure that your heel is on the ground to have better support. Nice and smooth. Don't forget to breathe. Now we're gonna go to the lower back. This is one of my favorites. So the foam roller is gonna be on your lumbar area and you're gonna rock your body front and back, both feet on the ground. And I like to cross my arms in front of me just to make sure that I don't drop my shoulders. Always breathe, engage your core so you don't arch your back. Now we're gonna go to the upper back. So I'm gonna lay back a little more closer to the ground. I'm gonna keep my arms across my chest, rocking my body front and back without dropping your head. And always nice and smooth. Time to go to the mid back, to the mid section of my back. Be careful with this one, you're gonna require a little more control we're gonna go sideways and make a little pause. You're gonna find your pace and it's gonna get easier with more practice. If this is too hard, you can skip this one and then wait for the next one. Now time to go to the front part of the body, chest and deltoids. This one is a very small move. It could be painful. If it is too painful, you can put your hand on the floor and do a smaller movement. Make sure that you go across your chest or pec and then to the shoulder. Now we're going to switch sides. Same as before, very small move. You can put your knees on the floor, you don't have to keep them on the toes because that could be a little more challenging. What we're trying to dig in is your chest and your shoulder. Remember, you can put fingers on the ground if this is too hard. All right, and we're gonna go to the lats, the side part of the back. As you notice, I have my hand on the floor, both hands on the floor, but one is sliding front and back. Try to dig in on the side part of my back. One knee on the floor. Nice and smooth. Always breathe, remember. Now we're gonna switch to the other side. Same as before, one knee on the floor, one hand really well supported in front of you, and with the other hand, you can put your fingers on the floor, slide them front and back, and dig in. If this is too hard, you can put your elbow on the floor. And now we're gonna go to the neck. This is gonna be the last one.
So pretend your foam roller is a pillow. So your neck is gonna be on the floor. You're gonna rotate your head side to side. The rest of your body completely relaxed. And just breathe. It's a very nice one. Whenever you have some neck tension, you can sort of do that. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Follow, turn on your notifications.